What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Uh, we about to get into Clarence's video, You're a Cheater, Addressing Your Assumptions About Me. And we about to react to this. Um, also, I'm reacting to this first on my Patreon. My Patreonians will be able to see this for everybody else. If you want to tap into the Patreon, link will be in the description. But yeah, let's get it. Cheater. I, I, I've seen that one coming. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Clarence NYC, and it's been a minute. I know it's been a minute. It's been a minute. A lot has been happening. You know what I'm saying? That has prevented me to be consistent on this page. I think about like four months ago, I was posting, starting to be consistent, and then some bullshit happened. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know what happened, make sure you go check out, go to the Queen and Clarence channel. Make sure. You go there to see what happened. You know what I'm saying? A lot has been going on. You know what I'm saying? I felt like me and Queen both, we both felt like we was almost under attack type shit. Like spiritually kind of, you know? Cause like so much, so many things were happening at once. That's why we just decided to go on vacation. And everybody thought we was doing it cause of some other, cause of the other nonsense that was happening online. But it really was just trying to get away, you know? And take our mind from what, what happened and shit. But I'm truly, truly, hopefully, I'm not going to sit here and make any promise, open, uh, empty promises and shit, what? but we back on it. We back on it, back on the main channel, back on every channel. You know what I'm saying? We never Hello. stopped the, the couples channel, but um, we back on every channel now. But as you guys can see from the title, today's title is Your Assumptions About Me. I posted it on Instagram, asked people questions, what are your assumptions about me? And so a bunch of people replied and I got them on my phone. Yeah, so we about to get into it real quick. Before we get into this video, leave a comment, any comment, it could be negative, positive, but it helps the algorithm. So make sure you leave a comment, smash the like button, and make sure you share the video, man. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. That's the that's the biggest one of all. And post notifications on, because if not, you won't be knowing when I drop. And I need you to know when I drop, gang. But let's do it. So I'm waiting. assumptions, assumptions about me. You take longer than Queen to get ready. I don't know. A lot of people think that. I mean, sometimes maybe. You know what I'm saying? But it, not sometimes. Maybe you know damn well. If I like my first outfit, cause sometimes I go through outfits. If I like my first outfit, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? Queen does take a long time. I think it would be like a 60, 40. I think I'm ready before her, maybe 60% of the time. And she's ready before me like 40. So that's not, I don't think that's that bad. And to my fellas out there, don't make, don't let the ladies make you feel bad for taking long to get ready. Like that's not just like a, a And what's wrong with taking a minute to get ready? A woman. It's a lot wrong with that, my fault, but you know what I mean. Thing, I don't like that. Like, if you if you want to look good, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it takes a change or two. You know what I'm saying? Putting pieces together is not always as easy as, like, you know what I'm saying? A girl just slipping on a dress, and that's it. So don't let them make you feel bad and shit. That, I never like that. I never like that. You only wear white ups once. That's somewhat true. I would say twice. I would say... Two times would be the max. So our ups, the high top ones? I don't know if you guys can see over here, but I have some forces right here. These are never worn, you know what I'm saying? So I got some on, on, on deck early. These right here, fresh as hell. Only wore once, but I wore gallery department pants with them. So there's like, the laces turn orange from like the lint and shit. So I really don't know what to do with these. I don't, I don't know, know maybe I could lint roll them or something, but these is pretty fresh, wore them one time. So. I would say, I would say that's not true. I would say so twice, one or twice. One, no, that is true. So one or two times, and then we're done, because they just be crease, and I don't like Air Forces when they crease. I just can't do that, and I can't stand it. When they crease, Comment and right when now, they, you can't stand it. Like when I they can't, crease, and when they get white, I mean, when they get dirty, dub them bitches. Stand creased white. Hell, I even throw them away. Air Forces, it blows my mind. And for some reason, I feel like they turn yellow too after like two wears and it's it's annoying. I feel like they be doing that on purpose. You be horny all the time, like goddamn. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say uh, I be horny all the time. I wouldn't say that. I think, I think my girl make me you know what I'm saying? I'm very attracted, <laughs> highly attracted to my shorty. Like she just, 
Like she could, she could just be walking, and then all I see is whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Like the cheeks is just, and then it's like the booty shorts is just eating. Like they getting ate up by the oh. cheeks, and it's like oh, I'm rock. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm rock. I'm rock. Like that's it. I'm rock. Like I'm highly attracted to the cheeks be cheeking, and the pussy is good. Well, you know what I'm saying. She could be. She could take off a sock, like you know what I mean, and I'm I'm ready, I'm ready. But it's not like I'm just walking around, just horny, like, and my shit just hard all the time. Like, nah, we don't, we we not no horn balls, you know. You know what I'm saying? But like, if you high, I think if you not if you if you not like that around your shorty, I think that's a big problem. I Facts. think you have a bigger problem than what you think. You know what I'm saying? Because I think you should be, I think you should your shorty should turn you on. You know what I'm saying? Vice versa. Facts. You're a cheater. I, I I seen that one coming. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can act like we can act like we ain't see that one coming. You know what I'm saying? I think it's false. I mean, people been thinking that about me for nigga since before I met Queen. Like, just uh, people would look at me and think I'm like some kind of f like f boy or some shit. But um, to each his own. You know what I'm saying? If you feel hey. like that, I, I don't know if I don't know how you could feel like that by just looking. He took the total high road with this. And ask somebody, all my attractive people out there will probably or agree with me because they probably heard the same care. thing. But I don't know how you could just look at me and think that. But I literally just chill. I get my money. I stay home. You know what I'm saying? Chill with my son. Chill with CJ. Chill with my shorty. You know what I'm saying? And just I kind of stay out the way. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't like going out. I don't like the clubs. I don't like like you know what I'm saying? Here and there is cool, but. I literally, he innocent. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be chilling, but. That nigga said my name Bennett, and that's it. I didn't do it. Hmm. I believe him. <laughs> I believe him. I know people going to look at me and think otherwise, and it's, it's cool. I'm so used to it. You're a jealous guy rather than nonchalant. There's not a jealous bone in my body, and I think... I think everybody knows that. Even like my peers and people that, if you know me, you know I'm not a jealous person, bro. I like, like, I use everything as motivation. I've never hated. I don't see him jealous at all. Hated on another man. Jealous. I've never looked at somebody and hated, been jealous of their success. Even with my girl, I've never seen her around another man or another artist or another celebrity and been jealous. I've just not, I don't, I don't really have a jealous bone in my body. I don't. I don't I believe just, you. I've been taught that from early, you know what I'm saying? I see someone's success and it motivates me, man. That's why I Word. like being around successful people cuz I feed off of that. I don't know if there's anybody else like that in here. Me. Comment if you're like that too because Me. I'm I'm more of a I use What the hell am I jealous of you for? You can never be me. And I don't want to be you. Period. Everything has motivation. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I love being motivated. That's one of the, I think that's one of the best feelings when you when you look at something, you like, yo, I could do that, or yo, let's get that, or let's do this. So boom, I think it was one of the best feelings. So yeah, I'm not a jealous, I'm not a jealous person, y'all. I think everybody somewhat knows that. Yeah, you a hoe because of the way you look. Look like it's <laughs> you got that whole look. That you a hoe because the way you look is crazy. This is the shit that I'm getting, it's crazy. You never even looked at engagement rings for Queen. That's actually a very good one, and I would have never came out and said that I did, but I did. I, I have looked at engagement rings. Um, I think that's the furthest I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Someone is saying, I believe that. Here's my thing: Why do people want to him to spoil the moment and be like, "Yeah, I'm ready to propose." Goddamn, y'all done brought it out of me. So here you go. And I assume you have a little, <laughs> a, a a little, a little pick. I'm gonna I'm watch my language because niggas love to yell at me a little bit too. Honestly, you just have that look. It's like, bro, I don't get it. I don't. I don't get. Now he look like he got a little meat. That's great. How you could look at some? Oh, that's cap. Cause I say some shit like that. But I, I never seen it in my life. I don't think you do. Somebody be like, oh, we got a little. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say it. Talk about my my joint. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's false. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's not that's that's very false. Very false. Um, I'm consistently giving big pick energy. You know what I'm saying? Cause when you have a you know what I mean? Like when you proud of what you have, you walk a certain way. Like I have nothing to prove. I don't have to yell. 
I'm so nonchalant because I just, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a very good time. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Just ask Queen. <laughs> they, they will tell you. You know what I'm saying? But I really do my thing and I'm very proud of myself. If that makes sense. I assume you like traveling. Like I love being on vacation. I love being in different places, but I hate traveling. I hate I the hate airplane Ubers. Too. I hate uh, airports. I hate, like, I don't like the process. Like, if I could just teleport or, like, man, just <laughs> just be there, like, you know what I'm saying? I would love that. But, like, traveling, the art of traveling, like, the process of traveling blows my mind. Packing. Nigga I said the packing. art of it. I hate unpacking. But I like being home. I like, I do like being places, though, because I love vacation. I just hate the plane ride to vacation. I hate Word. customs. I hate like all those though the in between stuff. If I could just go to Turks, it'll be fire. But you know, it doesn't work like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm pretty sure one of you smart people out there is gonna invent that one day. And you guys need to, you guys need to look out for me when it comes to that. Cause you know, I would love that. I would, I would pay for that. I would pay any amount of money for that. And don't mind me. I'm sitting here in this like little thing because a lot of y'all know that I hurt I hurt my knees, so I'm, I got like my knee up and my leg up and stuff. So you scared of heights? That's funny, bro. Cause I didn't know I was scared of heights until I went to New York and I went to that summit shit with the. It got like a clear floor, bro. So like you're looking down and you're like high as hell. You're like one of the highest. I'm scared of heights, nigga. Scared as hell. Buildings in new york and they have a clear floor and you get to just look right down i didn't like that so i didn't know i was scared of heights until then but um yeah i don't think it's heights i think it's more like confined spaces when you're real high <laughs> if that makes sense like when you dumb high like i don't like small balconies but i'll go on any roller coaster don't matter how tall it is how high it is hell no them them roller coasters will take you up out of here today. I'll go on any roller coaster. I it's like it's rock. like they built them when we was born and shit. So it's like the roller coasters. Nah, they built them before we was born and shit. So it's like the roller coasters like seventy five years old. Fix it. Work. Mess with the screws. Work with the wires. Whatever you got to do. It's killing people out here. Won't find me on another one climbing i would go hiking like so like i don't know if it's all the way heights but a nigga don't like confined spaces being high, that high in confined spaces just bothers me you know what i'm saying and yeah, unrealistic yeah. stuff like a, a clear floor should never exist you know what i'm saying it should never i honestly don't think you like queen for real i feel like you love her but she ain't your type or your hype I don't know what that necessarily means, but, um, yeah, hype. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to answer I think I, I think that's the, I kind of get that sometimes, but I think people take my laid backness and like love being, even though it's been a, it's been a little minute, like love is new to me. You know what I'm saying? Like growing up as a kid, it's like, I was never shown how to show love, like, intimately or emotionally you know what i'm saying i've never seen like my dad show my mom that? like love or you know like do things so everything i'm doing right now is like me doing you know what i'm saying he say this all the time and my thing is i think he loves her very well i think people just don't want it to happen or just wanting to do for my first time. You know, I've said not for the first time, but just doing off of me wanting to do it or or maybe seeing it on like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But every day I learn how to love. And I think Queen has helped me tremendously with that on how to love because some people don't know how to love. That was probably me when I first met Queen, you know what I'm saying? But I absolutely adore Queen. I love Queen with all my heart. I believe. You know what I'm saying? I'll do anything for her. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't have to ask for anything because I'm, you know, I spoil her, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, I wanted to forever stay like that. And as long as she knows that I love her, I think that's all that matters. Like right. I never do things for the video or anything. Like I'm just being me. And I'm sorry if like sometimes maybe me doesn't seem like it, you know what I mean? But like, I could care less if you guys think it or not. As long as my right. shorty <laughs> and, and, and my family knows, that's really all that matters. Um, Yeah, especially in the beginning when me and Queen was dating, we were getting that a lot. People were thinking like, I just don't understand. I'm just not that type of person, bro. I'm 
realistic like i'm a real person um i try to stay authentic as possible and being around someone and acting like you love someone it's just not and then having a baby with her and, uh, yeah. my cup of tea you love being a dad i absolutely love being a dad it's the best thing well, that, that was the wrong one that has ever happened to me honestly <laughs> changed my life you have a secret um, only made me a crazy. better man a better person yeah it's the best shit ever all my fathers out there shout out to all my fathers y'all know what i'm talking about best feeling in the world you're never gonna marry queen uh yeah that's cap you know what i'm saying um me and queen getting married i tell you that you know what i'm saying we're getting married y'all not about to persuade me or push me to go any faster or slower than you guys want me to do Man, want stop. me to be but me and queen getting stop rushing people to get married god damn i feel like the people that's rushing people to get married, y'all don't have a fucking life. Like, I feel like you don't have shit going on. Just because you see a dynamic and you think it's perfect don't mean it is. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of work that goes into uh, proposing to a woman. It's a lot of work that goes into uh, keeping that dynamic up to marry a person. Like, you go get married. Get married. You know what I'm saying? That's my, that's, that's my shorty. You that's know what I'm crazy. saying? That's my wife. And I love her to death. And I think things are, you know, finally, like, they're getting better. Especially, like, it's not really me and her. It's like the outside noise. Like, my family, her family. Everything's, like, finally, um, you know, just getting, it's, like, peaceful, you know? So, like, who knows, you know? Maybe we getting a little closer. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not. You know, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell y'all that I'll be telling the world. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, that's that's me answer the question. You don't want to drop your fire clothing brand for us anymore. Not true at all, bro. If there's anything that I want to do in this world, bro, is I want to provide y'all with fire clothes so y'all can wear and post and look good. And what the and fuck are we good. doing? And that's literally. He got to get these clothes out. I feel like that's literally what I was brought on this earth to do. I actually had a meeting today with a company that helps with that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and hopefully when the terms are sent over, everything sounds good. Because everything sounded good today. And hopefully it just, we, we go through it. Because sometimes I've been in this situation where I get so hyped and I get so excited. Because it's like, oh yeah, I finally got a team. Or I finally got someone that can help. Or... I finally found a manufacturer and then it falls through. So I don't want to get so excited, but bro, that's what I want to do in life, man. And that's what I'm, I've brought here. I've been brought here in this world is to provide y'all with drip. And that's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? Before I leave here. So I believe uh, that's not, that's not true. You have a secret only fans. And this is a man asking this. So that's fake pause. I do not have only fans. I've never been on only fans. Well, what? <laughs> if you do see me on OnlyFans, you're getting scammed. So, yeah, make sure. You know what I'm saying? If you do see me on OnlyFans, make sure you tell me because that's not me, bro. My assumption is that you're not very affectionate in public. What? I'm not that affectionate in public. I think um, he'd be kissing yeah. queen all the goddamn time and touching a butt and be doing the most. Yeah, I, I could probably be more affectionate in public, but I've gotten certainly better with it. I don't mind public affection. It just doesn't hit me to do it or like... You know what I mean? Turn around right now, tonga while it's raining before you cross the street. Like I just never like I, it doesn't hit me to do that. You Niggas know what I'm saying? Tonga while but it's like raining. that stuff like that, you know, girls like and enjoy, think it's cute, you know what I'm saying? Think it's romantic. So it's something that I have put my mind to, you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta constantly remember to just, you know, check up on your shorty with a kiss or a, a hold of the hand, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely getting better with that, man. So that's not all the way true. But good assumption. You're scared to have a baby girl. I don't think I'm scared. Yeah, I am scared. Okay. I'm scared. I'm we terrified. We figured that. I'm I'm terrified to have a baby girl. Yeah, absolutely right. It's just having a son is I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's it's kind of it's kind of easy. Like legend falls. It's like get up, bro. Stop <laughs> crying, bro. Wipe your wipe your tears. You good? You got a little cut? Let me put a band aid on it. A girl. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> why? You know what I mean? Like, why? 
<laughs> you got a boo boo like can i take it away like dear lord take me instead i'll probably be wild dramatic with my daughter like you know what i'm saying like i'm probably gonna like look said, at her like dear lord take me instead said, like i don't want her to ever feel hurt you yeah. know what i mean and realistically it's just that unrealistic and i feel like in the world we live in today i feel like women are not really respected and yeah i just very scary you know it's a I very feel. scary uh situation i assume that you're real closed off but queen brings out that silly side of you that's true a lot of y'all don't know because like i feel like if you're not on my twitch if you're not tuning into my twitch or like you've met me in person you don't know that i'm a very goofy person i'm a very silly person i'm i joke all day i'm not a serious person at all i'm far 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 from being serious far from it man make sure you tune into my twitch clarence underscore nyc you know what i'm saying we go live at night sometimes sometimes during the day around eight nine so make sure you tune in yeah like i'm not i'm far from a serious person but you guys don't get to see all of that in like a 20 minute video man if you get to know me and like for me you know what i'm saying not like family clarence not dad clarence like i'm a silly person you know what i'm saying and i would recommend you to just get to know me a little 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 bit better uh when i was around him funny as hell i think he was hilarious <laughs> like w when you when you when you never seen him before and like you not like you i get where niggas is coming from if they feel like he's just mean as shit or whatever um or like can't take a joke or not being funny da 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 nigga funny as hell and he's really a kind guy like him and Flight are some of the, the kindest guys I've met out of all these YouTubers and shit. Him and Flight, I had the best, um, I guess, meeting with or whatever. Flight is a kind spirit. He's a good soul um, type of guy. That's Flight is a good fucking dude. Dolce is a good fucking dude. Uh, uh, Moo is a good fucking dude. A lot of these dudes, Watlow, Clarence too, them some good dudes. Real good dudes. You know what I'm saying? In the summer, you sometimes don't wear briefs. Yo. I've, I probably went commando before. I'm not going to sit here and cap. I've went commando before. Especially when you got some short shorts on. It's really like when you got boxers on, it make the short shorts really short like and really tight. You know what I'm saying? But if you go commando, it's like way more comfortable. If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? But I've never done that in the street. Always like that. I think I went commando on vacation sometimes. Sometimes you just want to put a pair of trunks on, nice trunks. Sometimes they be having that lining, that swim trunk lining in the middle. And you just want, like, you can't really wear boxer briefs with that. So, no, yeah. So, I've definitely went commando before. You if know I was saying? a dude, not I would definitely lie. not put drawers up on the trunks. Like the Why? beef just all out facts. You're too cocky. I don't like the word cocky. I feel like I'm a confident person. Um, I know what I'm capable of. I know that I'm special. I think that I'm special. It doesn't really matter if you think I'm special. I'm not gonna let you, your thoughts or anything make me feel any kind of way. So I don't know. If you wanna call that cocky, I, I, don't, I don't think I'm cocky. Cause I'm also not the person to throw my success or throw my money or throw my my material things into people's face. Like I, I you know what I'm saying? I'm not that kind of person. And I know a lot of those kind of people. Yeah. Literally. But here's my thing too. Why do people have to look at it as you it's being thrown in your face? Why can't it be motivation? Why doesn't a watch like, you know, all my life I wanted a watch. Why wouldn't a watch <laughs> uh convince you to go buy a watch you know what i'm saying like damn that's a nice fucking watch i ain't even know they had that watch i'm about to go buy that watch <laughs> you know if what you're saying? not confident my confidence might rub you the wrong way and i think that's what it is you know what i'm saying because i feel like other people that's getting to it never kind of feel like i'm cocky you don't really like being a stepdad to cj uh, that's false that's false. I feel like in the beginning, I was definitely very iffy about it. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't sure. In the beginning, I That's always said, like, I want my girl, like, my first kid to be 
my my girl's first kid you know what i'm saying and i wasn't sure about the whole stepdad thing you know what i'm saying growing up my mom made sure i never had a stepdad so i don't even know how that dynamic is you know what i'm saying so that's another all my life i had a stepmom and that's the best lady in the world shout out to you mama pat <laughs> you know what i'm saying best mama in the world i don't even know that other lady the thing that I, I learned the one who had me and shit i don't know who that lady is every day and i've been learning over the years but even though i felt like that i i i've grew to love cj and cj loves me we have a great relationship yeah i think me me and cj play we play more than me and legend you know what i'm saying so like yeah cj is my guy man and I'm always be there for him. I know he needs me, you know, and I'm always be there for him for sure. Like I know how it is to grow up in like a, I guess a half broken home, I guess, but, and I know how that feels and you be feeling left out sometimes. And I just never want him to feel like that. You know what I'm saying? That's so real. I'll, I'll always be there no matter what for CJ, for sure. I assume you're selfish and only think about yourself. Wow. Oh man, that's so wrong. That that couldn't be any more wrong. And I, I, I sometimes I don't like these videos because it's like, of course, you're going to say you're not selfish. Like, but it's like, I'm really not selfish, gang. I think about Queen, C CJ and Legend more than I think about myself. And that's facts. I think about them before I think about myself. I think about how they're going to feel. I think about what would affect them. I think what I would say would affect them. You know what I'm saying? And I always make sure i think about like others first you know what i'm saying i will give the shirt off my back to anybody you know what i'm saying me too people think i'm selfish and i give you my whole car well i would have i don't know fuck it and if you need it you know what i'm saying i give it to my kids though i got you you know what i mean maybe sometimes i, I could say the wrong thing on twitch or something or say something and 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 I'm being selfish or acting out of out of emotion, like going back and forth over the internet with, you know what I mean? Like sometimes I think those be my little selfish moments. It's like, nah, like, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm, I'm not a selfish person, gang. I'm really not. You let Queen suck your gooch. Wow. Now we never, we haven't did the gooch yet. We really haven't did the gooch yet. I'm not that like, you know what I'm saying? I think that's a little too, it's a little close to like, you know what I'm saying? Your, your, your bum bum. And I'm not <laughs> sure if I want to, you know what I'm saying? Because if, if, if joints is licking a gooch, your, your next step is, you know what I'm saying? You get, now you're getting eight out. If I was a dude, I would get eight out. <laughs> like, let's just call, Fuck it. call it what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not ready to take that huge step yet. So that, yeah. But y'all can say you ate my, my beef. Yeah. Niggas be like, she ate the dick. It <laughs> hasn't. That hasn't happened. You're lazy and you live off queen. Wow. Couldn't be more untrue. You know what I'm saying? I think I have, like probably over the couple years, I have been maybe lazy. The big factor of me being lazy and keeping me lazy, I would think would be the, the weed or the, the Tina, whatever you want to call it. I don't want to get yellow, but yeah, the Tina. You know, the Tina Turner, like rolling, rolling. <laughs> you know how you roll, rolling. For y'all that don't know, I stopped, you know what I'm saying? I stopped doing that, you know what I'm saying? I've been, I felt amazing. I feel different. I feel, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel, I have a clearer mind. I could feel, you know what I'm saying? I felt like I haven't been feeling in like, you know, in quite some time. So I think that was a big factor. But one thing about me, even through all of that, is I'm gonna get me some money. Hello. You know what I'm saying? I've been lazy with my potential and what I could do and, my clothes and other things that's outside of what I already know. So, uh, yeah, I, so it's like half true, like a little lazy, you know what I'm saying? But I take care of my house, I take care of us. I definitely do my part financially, mentally, spiritually, all of that, you know what I'm saying? Me and Queen, we, we, we do work hard for what we, for what we have, you know what I'm saying? Even though uh, we're not where we want to be, but That's crazy. you know what I'm saying? We 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 definitely work hard for what we want. <laughs> definitely. House look gooder than a motherfucker. Bag of lit. When I met him, he had a showroom. He had a corner in a closet. He had a closet corner. I, but whatever. We don't live <laughs> off Queen. Queen don't live off me. You know what I'm saying? We handle business together as a team for sure. All right, I'm, I'm going to do like one more, one or two more. You're really a lover boy. I... I'm fake a lover boy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. 
You know what I'm saying? I do, I do. I like to be loved. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you're actually mad emotional, which is another true. I'm, I am an emotional. I'm an emotional man for sure. Um, I'm passionate about things, and passion is an emotion. I'm, I'm very passionate about who I love. You better say that about, shit. Who I live with, who I'm with, my kids, all of that. You said I'm passion is the emotion. About what I love, you know what I'm saying? So me too. For sure, I'm pretty emotional. If you ask me, let's me do too. one more. Let's do one more. You be spending all queen. <laughs> yeah, I I think that's that that's the oldest. You be spending queen all of queen money. Um, I have my own money. I'm very well off. Again, not where I want to be, but I do have. You know what I'm saying? My own. I'm doing very well for myself and for my family. You know, and um, Queen has never gave me a dollar. We have separate accounts, and so that doesn't. You know what I'm saying we well, don't share really money like accounts. at all, like at all. No access. She doesn't have access to mine. I don't have access to hers. Um, and we have separate accounts. We do have a joint account that I'm about comes to say that, they had uh, a joint account. all the family brand deals and YouTube goes into there. You know what I'm saying? That's where the bills come out of for her mm. separate. These some smart mother scooters. So the family channel is where the bills come out at. Hmm. Lee, Makes sense to me. She doesn't have to spend her money. Me separately. I don't have to spend my money. Money comes out of here to pay for everything we live in here. You know That's what I'm saying? Dope. So it's actually a very, if for you guys that are in, in a couple, this is my advice to you. Um, even my therapist said, like, before he even say that, me and TT just started doing the same shit. You got a budget, like, and we some non budgeting ass women around this motherfucker. We like, buy that shit. Fuck it. But, uh, listen, yeah, we, it's time. So we here. That's amazing because a lot of couples just immediately just join everything and now it's fights and all that. No, Queen, you could stack up over here. Clarence, you could stack up over here. Boom, we continue to work together right here and everything comes out of right here. And I think that's one of the best things we've uh, we've done since being together, man. I agree. There's no, there's no bumping heads, no arguments. She doesn't have to ask me if she wants to buy some. I don't have to ask her. Like, it's no... Cause I've seen that too. I've been out with like some of my friends, and it's like, yo, babe, can I do this? Can I? Can I, like I need? Like no, like you know what I'm saying. You got your own. I got my own. And then yeah, you know, this pays for our life and and for us to live. You know what I'm saying. But that is the last assumption, guys. I'm about to head out of here right now. I'm about to actually go on stream right now. If you haven't called me on stream, I try to do every other day around like 9 p.m. So just make sure. You come tune in. What's up, baby boy? Look at my boy right there. Look at Legend. Say hi. Hi. I'm doing hi. a video. You smell like outside, boy. Can I get, can I get a hug and a kiss or nah? <laughs> Yay. Give me pop. Oh my God, Clarence gets his on the lips. Here come that shit. Pop. <laughs> Love That's <you> boy. coming. <laughs> Fuck He's hyped to see me, but yeah, I'm about to go on Twitch for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Do my reactions. Today was actually a very productive day. You know what I'm saying? This is what the Tina hasn't allowed me to do in a very long time. You know what I'm saying? It's actually been a productive week. You know what I'm saying? I, I love it. I love that for me. You know what I'm saying? Me too. I'm here. I see you. I see you, buddy. But yeah, I'm going to highlight y'all. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Again, make sure y'all comment. Make sure y'all comment. If I'm, if y'all think I'm capping, if y'all think I'm lying, Word. if y'all think I'm telling the truth, if y'all love me, if y'all hate me, make sure y'all leave a comment, smash that like button, and <sighs> make sure you're subscribed with the bell notifications on. I love y'all, and I catch y'all next video. And make sure you comment other video ideas that I could do, and when y'all would like to see on this anything channel, shopping. because I do be needing help. If you do anything shopping, it's gonna go up on this main channel. We're gonna so spend help some money. Me out. I love y'all. Thank you. I said thank you. I catch y'all later, gang. You're gonna have to spend some saying? money. That's just it. You're gonna have to spend some money. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. This is about to go on my Patreon. It's currently 10 o'clock at night, the night before. Tomorrow is going up about six. So y'all will probably be seeing this well, about between four and six. So hell yeah. Uh Patreon link will be in the description. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.